and I am joined now by Sophia Raab, who uh, is... Sophia, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you have the honour today, don't you, of being an honorary pallbearer? I, I, I was a pallbearer yesterday for the yes. Genazza Prayer. Yes. And how was that? It, it was incredible, an incredible honour uh, to, to be able to carry the, the remains. You know, we as Muslims, we don't see the uh, physical body as the essence of the person. We see their, their soul, the character, the human conscience as their essence. But to be able to honor his remains and be one of the people who carried those remains of such a magnanimous, incredible figure, it's a great honor. You talk about Muhammad Ali as a magnanimous and incredible figure, but what stands out to you as, as he's remembered here today in Louisville? Uh, well, well, for me, it, it was as though he was an uncle. Uh, he, he frequented all of the gatherings. This was, uh, our community was not incidental to his uh, story, his narrative. I can recall one time where there was a person who was organizing a youth conference, and uh, I was about 16 or 17 years old, and people had poured in from all over the country, the eastern seaboard, maybe some people from the Midwest, and somewhat, some kind of way, the, the, the person who was organizing some of the details uh, failed. They didn't, they didn't take care of the finances properly, and there was some mishap, and Muhammad Ali caught wind of it, and that morning, he just took a flight directly there. He took, he took all of us, uh, spent two days with us, took all of us to, to, to dinner, to eat yeah. at the Muhammad Ali Rotisserie Chicken in Silver Spring, Maryland. <laughs> it was incredible, and uh, that, that's the kind of person he was. He, he, it, this was, you know, the central part of his heart, the, the children and uh, the life and the legacy of life, uh, and, we, and we will for sure miss him. And do you think that today is just as he wanted it to be? Because he planned it, didn't he, exactly, how the world would say goodbye to him. Everything from choreographing the route through Louisville to the memorial service this afternoon. I think, you know, he, he was a person who understood that uh, the, as much as we feel ownership of Muhammad Ali, the community of Waterfordine Muhammad, the community of the Nation of Islam, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we feel ownership of him, but the whole world is some. It, it, it is it is something that is a fruit of this community that the whole world can eat from, and and we appreciate that uh, that the tribute not only it goes beyond the traditional ritual that we observe to extend to a, a way for others to make their contributions and uh, tributes to this incredible figure. Uh, I think this is exactly how we would have wanted it. I, I was just driving here, lining the street, there droves, thousands and thousands Everyone of people. Everyone chanting, Ali, 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 Ali. It's amazing. And, 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 and more than anything, I, th I think that if, if he were here, he would, he would say, this is great, this is incredible, but you should, you should recognize the greatness that produ produced this greatness. Ah. And that greatness is Allah, God. Yes, and that and, 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 and Islam, as is portrayed in other means, uh, is, is misportrayed. He was, he was a correction for the misperceptions of Islam in the world, and we are very grateful to have, have him as a human being. He's probably America's most famous Muslim. Do you I think he's the world's most famous Muslim, and he had he donned the name of the two most important, two of the two most important names in Islam, Muhammad and Ali. And just think of the shock that was to America back in 1963 when he announced that he was no longer Cassius Clay. He renounced that as a slave name, even though that was the name of an abolitionist. Mm. Uh, it's extraordinary to think, really, how that must have gone down in America at that time. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 was, it, was, it was before my time. Uh, but it laid, it, 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 it laid the groundwork for us to be able to, to, to be so fluid and, and, and recognize that whatever we think divide us, if, if, if it's something that, that is on the surface of the skin relative to race, some social construct relative to the pigment of the color of the skin or something like this, that's not the true essence of the human being. That's, this is what Muhammad Ali epitomized, and we appreciate him for that. Of course, he couldn't have been what he was without the boxing. Well, we couldn't be what we are without him. <laughs> but do you worry that the boxing also robbed him of his final years, that the boxing in some way contributed to his Parkinson's? Well, I'm not certain. I, you know, I, think that, I think that everything is by the plan of God. And when we look at, we look at uh, Muhammad Ali's life, we see a person who lived its, his life to the fullest. And whatever we know of him, however we've come to appreciate him, even, even what we know in terms of his success and achievement, 
it came through hardship. It wasn't a, a rosy path. He had financial troubles at times and so forth, but, but he never allowed the, the despair to overcome uh, who he was and, and, and the love and contributions that he made to humanity. That took a little bit of adversity, so I don't think anything robbed him of anything. And Sophie, when you see all these people of Louisville lining the streets, do you find that to be moving? Just the crowds that have turned out, that he meant so much to so many different people in so many different ways. How could you not? I've, I've, I've seen people from all over the world. The per Turkish president was here. We had dinner with him yesterday. Uh, the folks from Pakistan, from Qatar, from Bangladesh, they were from all over the world coming to, to pay tribute. And when you listen to their stories, you hear the stories that, that, that you know, echoed the reality that when they were young, they would huddle around a radio or, or watch a television if they had one in an entire village and, and take celebration uh, about the accomplishments of Muhammad Ali. He was a magnanimous figure. Well, you had dinner with President Erdogan of Turkey. What did he have to say about Muhammad Ali? What has moved him to come all the way from Turkey here to Louisville to attend the memorial? Well, uh, the, same is the, the same thing that moved the other heads of state and their representatives to be here, uh, they, they recognize as a Muslim figure, he's uh, undoubtedly the most popular man in the world. Time magazine and other sports illustrated had it right when they made him the athlete of the century, personality of the century. He, he was an incredible figure and they were just giving uh, proper respect to such a proper conscience, a, a popular conscience. And Muhammad Ali planned this day so carefully. He planned yesterday, as you were mm -hmm. saying. Yes. You were there, a pallbearer, at the Muslim a funeral prayer ritual. Uh, he knew all the attention there would be on mm -hmm. yesterday and mm -hmm. today. What was the message he was trying to send about by having that Muslim prayer ritual so prominent? Well, I think, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not certain, but I believe that the uh, centrality of Islam to his life is no small thing. He was a, he was a Muslim, and whenever people would say irresponsible things about Islam, even in his in his infirm state, uh, at times he would make certain that he released a message to the world to correct. He looked at at, at his responsibility uh, as one who assumes the duty to uh, correct uh, misperceptions anywhere, and he did it and he did it in such. Uh, an affable and lovable way. It's impossible not to love this man. Sphere Rob, how much will you miss Muhammad Ali? I don't have the words to answer that question. It's a but top. I will for sure miss him. Sophia Rob, thank you so much for thank joining us. More. Paul Bearer to Muhammad Ali, thank you for joining thank us you. here on BBC News. We appreciate your time very much. So that was Sophia Rob there, one of the Paul Bearers to Muhammad Ali, joining us here on BBC News. And you can see there the people on the streets of Louisville out paying tribute to Muhammad Ali. Uh, so many people from so many different walks of life. Just fascinating to see.